This interview is for information only and should not be considered as investment advice or a recommendation to buy shares in the company featured. Welcome to this stock box interview. Joining us today is George Roach, CEO of Premier African Minerals, following the plant update RNS on Thursday, stating that the plant is now running and concentrates are being produced from both mica and spodumene flotation. All components are running front to back, as you said in another interview, and you're happy to say that you are in production. Is that correct, George? Are you confident to say the plant is producing? Mark, the plant is producing. Um, it's not producing to the tonnage that we require at the moment. Um, and it's going to take a little bit of time to sort out some of the reagent issues to get the grade and so on. But all of this is now very encouraging from the point of view of having a plant that runs front to back. Okay. And is it producing saleable concentrate? Mark, I am waiting for analysis to come through on concentrates that are being produced at the moment. Um, with the pH issues that we have, mm -hmm. I think it's going to take a little time uh, to get the final concentrates to the correct grade, um, but that's a work in progress. Okay, and I think, did you say it's a matter of hours to days rather than days to weeks to sort that pH issue? Yeah, okay, okay. At the moment, do you know what rate you're running at, or can't you say? Well, the, the mill is able to feed and we have been running at up to 40 tons of dry solids per hour into the flotation plant. Now, the original design capacity was 37 and a half tons per hour. So we, we can easily match design capacity, material correctly mold, uh, correct liberation sizes, and so on. Okay. So I'm very comfortable with that aspect of it. Um, uh, as, as I say, and I've said a couple of times now, and in RNS, this is a case of getting the pHs correct and getting the reagent dosing correct and getting the flotation plant to operate in a fully automated and autonomous mode. That's essential to get the consistency. Uh, and that's where the, where the work is right now. Okay. And you did say in the RNS you were simultaneously encouraged and frustrated by several issues that need uh, the plant contractors about are working on that are affecting the quality of the production, the quality and quantity. So we talked a little bit about the pH. We'll go into that in a minute. What are the other issues that we're talking about? Are they small? Are they niggly? Are they easy fixes? Uh, yeah, there's, there, to me, there isn't anything that is of a major problem at, at the moment. Um, the frustration comes about because uh, the, the um, correct dosing and pH monitoring and control is something that was clearly spelt out in November last year and should have been properly oh. and adequately attended to and has not. So uh, where it is a simple commissioning issue uh, directly as opposed to something that is more of a... Uh, design related issue. In other words, uh, is a pump correctly specified to provide the required amount of acid, for example, for a particular float cell, right? That's a design issue. Um, yeah. you know, and, and it's, 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 it's that, that's where the frustration is. Um, the encouragement relates to the fact that everything is working, that okay. the whole plot, and in particular that the mill is functioning. And I'm very, very pleased about that. Okay, so little frustrations on the smaller things, but nothing that, that can't be fixed. You've got everything you need on site. There's no capital outlays required or, or long time scales for these other, other bits? I don't know. I don't anticipate any long time scales. Um, I anticipate um, uh, some issues over perhaps having to get an upgraded pump where one has been underspecified. Okay. Um, I don't. I think that I think there are going to be time costs as opposed to any significant capex costs. Okay, but these are not things that are going to significantly affect. They're they're more in the optimization. Is that right? Am I thinking correctly? Mark, yes, they are. Once we've got control of the of the pH and reagents, and we've got it yeah. working automatic, 
aut- autonomously, automatically, then it really is optimization. And, okay. and I'll give you an example of optimization. How much air do you pump through the tank to cause the right kind of froth and correct uh, collection of, of material? Well, the compressors are there. That's a case of adjust a valve as you go. Okay, okay. Set. So that falls into the optimization side. Good, 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 good. Now, onto the pH just briefly. You said it was identified in November, and the RNS did state that the contractor needs to remedy. So, my question is are they capable of remedying these issues? And, um, you know, what are you thinking? Are you, well, I think you said in hours or days, but are you very confident that they can remedy this in the short term? I'm very confident that the issues themselves can be remedied in a very short period of time. Okay. And I think, let me just stop at that for the moment. Okay, okay. Well, the RNS also stated that and you've mentioned you're encouraged by the initial spot analysis by the internal laboratory on the material transferred to the uh, flotation plant, that indicating a concentrate of 6.1% Li2O, which is a pe- potentially achievable from the current ROM ore. So this, as I understand, this 6.1 sample was taken after the milling before flotation. Is that right? No, it was taken... It was taken between the mica flotation and the spodumene flotation. Okay. That area, all right? And that's a critical place from which to take this because if we know that we can recover uh, in the laboratory from specifically there, then the flotation plant should be able to recover at least that and possibly more. So that goes to uh, confirm or indicate that uh, it really is a pH um, slash reagent okay. problem that needs to be resolved and sorted out and, okay. and so on. Well, that's a very significant point to take that sample there. I did note the word potentially achievable, though. How confident are you you will get that SC6? I know you're waiting for that official analysis. I've been confident all the way through, Mark, that this is what we're going to see. Uh, we've done so much test work in the background. Um, so much that okay. I'm, I'm confident that's where we're going to get. Okay, and I believe you said in a previous interview that you're expecting that perhaps next week those results to come back. Is this an independent uh, testing that's been going on? <laughs> no, we we don't have. I mean, the independent testing, independent results can take quite a bit longer. Um, so uh, some of the material that's been floated now in the last couple of days, uh, we should have results for some of that. Um, over over the, the course of the coming day, coming weekend, and so on. Right. Okay. Okay. Good. Too early to talk about any potential iron content or other visible contaminants, mica, that might be getting through? Only to say that the ore appears very clean. Okay. Um, so we haven't stress tested any of the ore sorters and so on at this stage. Um, sure. I believe that their performance has been optimized. Uh, okay. To the extent possible, um, I think that the contractor's got more work to do there still. But the ore that has come through has been very clean, okay. so uh, contaminants don't appear to be a problem right now. Good. Okay. So generally, then, aside from the the smaller issues and the pH issue, which you hope to get sorted fairly soon, the other components are all working good. The mill, the thickener, the sort of all working as you expect. Yep. Mill, mill in particular, mill is an absolute pleasure. <laughs> Good, good. I look forward to maybe meeting the mill one day because it certainly looks very impressive on uh, on some of the media there. When would you hope to make the first shipment, George, to Canmax? Um, I would like to see that this is going to come. Uh, where are we on the 1st of March now? Yes. I would like to see that this is going to come during the course of this month. Um, I think okay. the next the next coming days and weeks are going to confirm that one way or another. But I would like to. I would like to think that is where we are. Okay. Good. 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 I have a few other questions just on the wider picture, if you can. Uh, update on Matare. I think uh, investors are keen to hear about this. Um. Uh, yes, we we do owe uh, an update on that. But um, I think let, let me say that that there is work in the background going on in terms of how the Matare exploration is going to be structured. Mm-hmm. And um, I, I I can't say much more than that at the moment, except okay. to say that I think that it's it's I think that it has a very good future. I've always okay. felt that, but I think it has a good future. 
Okay, well, hopefully you can let us know a bit more detail in the not too distant future. In terms of in terms of ore at the ROM pad, I know you said a few thousand tons last time. Plenty of ore to, to go through? No, not really. Um, the mining contractor uh, has been on a break. Um, they're back on site on Sunday. Um, it's going to take them a couple of days to uh, uh, get the operation. I mean, they've been on break for a while now just to get blast done and, and all moved. Um, so not a lot of ore at the moment, but uh, plenty in the pit. Well, yeah, indeed, what's going on at the pit is plenty in the pit there when the operations recommence. Sunday. On Sunday. Rising on Sunday on the 3rd, yes. And am I right, from my visit there, I think when I talked to the pit manager, he was talking about 75,000 tonnes per month. Is that right they have to send up to the... Rom ore, that's where the target is, yes. And that's achievable? Oh, yes, oh, yes. Good, 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 good. <clears throat> oh, yes, no, no, the... The 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 plant that is at site is extensive. I mean, there are there are I think there are fifteen thirty ton ADTs and five big excavators and all sorts of other supportive equipment. Um, there's adequate plant and equipment to deal okay. with the mining. Good, good, good. With what I imagine, George, is a pretty moving feast every day. I know you are travelling at the moment, but I have two questions for you. Firstly, how are you ensuring as CEO that you can get into full production ASAP? And can the market expect regular, perhaps even weekly updates on the status now? Well, Mark, I think that we're uh, providing updates that are even more frequent than weekly at present. So I think that target we're hitting. Um, and in terms of the previous question, I can only continue doing what I'm doing. Um, and 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 will um, the determination is there? It hasn't gone away, um, and it won't until I see the first bags of spodumene shipped out of okay. Zulu. So you continue cracking the whip, so to speak, until you see those shipments leaving Zulu. Okay. A final thought to George, if I can. I don't know, but it was brought to my attention that spodumene prices jumped about twelve percent overnight in Australia. Do you have a a comment on that? Well, I think I've been saying for some time that uh, the price drop had been bottoming out. And I think I've also been saying for some time that I expected it to recover. Um, I've seen some, there are varying forecasts in terms of how quickly it's going to recover and where it's going to recover to. Um, uh, some of them are indicating moving back closer to the 2000 mark um, in fairly short order. Uh, so from one perspective, maybe it was a fortunate break or prem, inadvertent, but fortunate that we weren't shipping. Um, look, I, it is moving up. Um, bear in mind also that the lithium hydroxide price moves up and part of our product that we sell um, is priced off a profit share based on lithium hydroxide pricing. So, on both scores, spodumene going up and that, um, I think we're in a much stronger position. I'm very, okay. I'm very excited about that. Okay, good. Well, thank you very much for your time today, George. I know you're going to be visiting PDAC, but then probably straight back to site at Zulu. So I look forward to catching up even as soon as next week. For now, thank you very much for your time. Mark, take care. Thank you very much. Cheers. If you enjoyed this interview, then give us a thumbs up, a like or a retweet. Subscribe to us on YouTube or follow us on Twitter and hit that notification bell to be the first to know when we release new content. There's loads of great content on our website too, across all our programs at stockboxmedia.com. Thank you for watching.